Good morning and welcome to this day devotion from Cram and Kirk in Edinburgh on Saturday the 12th of September. Whether you're joining from near or far, whether the sun is rising or the sun is setting on your day, a very warm welcome. We begin with words from the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verse 34, in which Jesus said, A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another another. Let's turn to God in love and in prayer now. Let us pray. Lord of the impossible, open our eyes to your glory now. Guide us as we journey through life to see the heroes of our faith, not in the extraordinary, but in the ordinary. Be with us now, we pray, wherever you find us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This week we've spent looking at heroes of our faith. We've had some names that will be very well known, others that were perhaps less well known, and others that perhaps even new to you. Each person had something in common. They were all ordinary, everyday people. They were individuals who decided to live out their faith in such a way that honoured God. Their faith filtered through to every single aspect of their lives to help others, to build others up, and to support others. Some sadly lost their lives in doing so, and some lived until a ripe old age. Today's hero of our faith is someone you all know very well, or at least I hope you do, because it's you. It's each and every one of us. Because every single person who became a hero of the faith wasn't any different from you or from I. I wonder today, what can we do to honour God? I wonder what can we do to live out our faith in such a way that it impacts those around us? These past couple of weeks have been difficult for us personally, as we have had a spinal surgery cancelled for our two-year-old and now living in lockdown to protect us, not from COVID only, but from every single bug and germ and virus going around. Indeed, it was a common cold that cancelled the surgery in the first place. We have, however, been struck by the kindness of everyday heroes who have rallied around us, even strangers who have heard or read of our situation. We have seen Christ in action through everyday heroes. I'm sure we've all had similar moments in our own lives in which we have found our own everyday heroes of our faith. So let us show that same love to others. May we all be heroes of our faith, today and in the days to come. Therefore, it says in Philippians 2, verse 1 to 11, if you have any encouragement from being united in Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather in humility value others above yourselves, not looking for your own interests, but each of you in the interests of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant. Being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So let's turn to God in prayer. Let us pray. God of compassion and love, 
Time after time we've experienced your care and provision. Time after time you've answered our prayers and met our needs. Often in ways we could never have dreamt possible. We praise you for your faithful love towards us. Because we have known your love, we come to you in confidence, offering our prayers for the world that you love. We see so much pain and suffering, so much violence and poverty and despair. It's easy to feel overwhelmed by the needs around us. But we continue to bring our prayers to you in faith, because we know that nothing is impossible for you. You are the God who rained down bread from heaven and made water flow from a rock in the desert. The God who resurrected Jesus Christ from the dead and who brings new life and hope to all who believe. For you, all things are possible. We pray for all who are suffering the effects of COVID-19, the physical effects of the illness, the abuse of a partner, the loss of a job, the loss of a home, the loss of direction. Despite all the pain and worry, we bring our prayers today because nothing is impossible for you, O oh God. We pray for those who live with serious illness, those with chronic pain, those who have access to proper medical care, those for whom treatment is no longer an option. We bring our prayers because nothing is impossible for you, O oh God. Merciful God, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to show us a different way to live, the way of deep humility and obedience. You call us to love one another and to work together with one heart and mind, balancing our needs with the needs of those around us. Give us courage to follow faithfully and with integrity, with actions that bear witness to the words we speak and worship that overflows in our daily tasks and relationships, so that our lives will bring glory and honour to you, our Redeemer and our Lord. Amen. Thank you for being with me this morning. And until we meet again, may God hold each and every one of you in the palm of his hands. God bless. Goodbye. Till next time.